I'm Brian Charles. I'm CTO of Datavised, uh, which is a web VR technology company. VR is going to force uh, the documentary and journalism community to kind of rethink its ethics. The experience of, of the, the audience is, is it, it can be stronger in, a, in an emotional way and in a, uh, even a physical way. Um, so, you know, you can make somebody sick or you can make somebody upset. Um, but also, documentary and journalism have these ideas about um, whether, a, um, say, for example, a photo or a, or a piece of video has been modified. And the nature of VR is that everything is modified. It has to be so heavily processed. The VR experiences I enjoy the most are ones that are just about being in a space. Um, and that, that give you time. One of my favorite things to do is, is in the, uh, a vibe, just sit on the floor and just kind of be somewhere. Um, or, or especially if, if you can play with things, if there's interaction, and it, it just kind of reminds me of being a kid and, you know, kind of alone in the bedroom before, uh, you know, sitting on the floor playing with toys. I think it's more effective to embrace the limitations than to try to kind of sweep them under the rug. So my favorite example, as I discussed, is, is Oscar Abe's piece, Ascent, where uh, he had limited resources to, to scan people. And the scan comes out somewhat glitchy, but in the context of that story, it makes sense. If you're, for example, uh, in a, sitting in a car with a bunch of other people, and you look down and you have no body, and the setting seems to suggest that you should be a character in that car, but other people are all talking to each other, but they're ignoring you, then what does that say about who you are? Um, whereas I think maybe a more effective approach might be to acknowledge to the person that you're still you um, in, in a way that kind of breaks the fourth wall. It's a new medium, so it's an opportunity to kind of establish new ground rules and a new culture that's much more open. We can only take advantage of the medium and it can only really uh, achieve the most if we can see people from all kinds of cultures and um, backgrounds uh, really contribute. We have the tools to do that. Uh, it's just a question of whether or not we make those tools accessible um, and share those tools. WebVR is a technology I work with that is fairly experimental, uh, that enables access to virtual reality hardware through a web browser. Um, it is a great way to get content out there very quickly and, and seamlessly. It, it's the most accessible to the most people.